Welcome to the overview for using posting layers to satisfy financial reporting requirements. Today we're going to take a brief look at the three posting layers that are delivered out of the box with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and in addition how those posting layers can be defined to print on your financial statements. The first thing we're going to look at under General Ledger is the definition of journal names. This is where you tell the system which posting layer to actually post the transaction into. You can see here that the selected journal name that I have at the top of my list does not allow me to, to define the posting layer. That's because this journal is generated through a process. But if I look at another posting journal that I have created in the system, which is not done through a process, here's where I can define specifically which posting layer this transaction will be posted into. And you can see we have the three options out of the box of current, operations, and tax. You are not permitted to add any additional posting layers into the system for Dynamics AX 2012. Whenever a transaction is entered using the specific journal name that you've selected, it will automatically post and update the one posting layer that is selected in here. There is one exception to this, which is in fixed asset journals. If we go to fixed asset and look at the value models, the value models also have the posting layer defined. So you can see for this value model, this is going to update the posting layer called current. There is a derived value model though assigned to this one, and you can see that if I look at bill tax, which is right here, this one also has a posting layer but it's different. It's going to the tax posting layer. What this means is if I go to the fixed asset journal and create a new journal and if I open up the lines and I'll select one of my assets we can see off of the value models that not only will it update the value model of the asset itself but also this derived value model so when I post this journal for the fixed asset, the amount will not only update the operations or the current or the tax model group that's defined on the journal, but it will also update the value model posting layer that's defined on the derived value model. If we go ahead and close this out, next we're going to quickly take a look at how to define on the financial statement which, which posting layer you would like to see on either a column or a row. If we open up the financial statement first and look at a specific column, you can go to the transaction tab and here's where you can define the posting layer that, or layers that you would like to include in that specific column of the financial statement. So you can see you could pick one of the specific three layers or you can do a combination such as adding or subtracting a combination of the posting layer. You can do something very similar on the row. If you open up the row definition and open up the structure designer, if you select a specific value and choose to edit that and go to the setup, here also you can choose to include a specific posting layer or combination of posting layers for the value that will generate on that specific row of the financial statement. This concludes the overview for posting layers and financial reporting.